I'm political editor Dennis Welch. This is Politics Unplugged, and Jake Hoffman is a powerful man at the state capitol. The Queen Creek Republican is the chair of the Arizona Freedom Caucus, and he heads the committee that is vetting Governor Katie Hobbs' nominations to run state departments. He's already vowed to sue the governor, and he joined me for a one-on-one -on -one conversation. Senator Jake Hoffman, thank you very much for taking some time out to, to, to talk with us here today. I want to start off, first question, I want to get to the most recent bit of news. You had a bill um, that was rejected on the Senate floor. It dealt with uh, Maricopa County. Specifically, you wanted to divide uh, the county up into four smaller pieces. Um, first of all, let's start with why you wanted to do that. I know you said that you, this is a, a, a government that's more responsive to the people, correct? It, it, well, Dennis, thanks for having me, first off. Uh, yeah, the bill to split up Maricopa County is really founded in three major priorities. We want a government that is closer to the people, more representative of the people uh, that it serves. That's mm -hmm. one. Two, we need a counties uh, that can better address regional uh, strategic priorities, needs, challenges, et cetera. Mm -hmm. uh, and third, counties serve as an advocate in the water debate. As we all know, uh, water is our most important issue. Mm -hmm. And currently, Maricopa County is 65% of the state's <coughs> population, on track to be 85% of the state's population in just 25 to 30 years. Mm -hmm. That's simply an unsustainable model. Mm -hmm. And I believe that if we were to split it up now, get ahead of that problem, uh, it will actually serve the interest of all people that live in Maricopa County for the years to come. But some of your Republican colleagues, they voted against this bill, um, particularly small government Republicans. Those small government Republicans say this bill does the exact opposite. It actually creates three new uh, governmental entities, and that's uh, bigger government, it's more government, it's more bureaucracy. Uh, you know, how does that comport with what's been a traditional Republican platform for as long as I can remember that Republicans stood for less government and that your critics are saying this is going to make more government because it does three more governments. Well, Dennis, Thomas Jefferson was a proponent that he said, you know, the only time where it is OK to expand government is to make government smaller and closer to the people. And that's what this bill does. It's very Jeffersonian in nature. And the reality is that this allows for self-determination. It allows the residents of the new West Valley uh, County, the new Southeast Valley County, the new Northeast Valley County to decide for themselves whether they want a Taj Mahal style mm -hmm. county government like we have today, one that's growing exponentially year over year, or whether they want smaller limited government. Mm -hmm. We have lots of rural counties, Pinal County, Cochise County, Yuma County, that have all done an exceptional job at being able to deliver services mm -hmm. while maintaining costs and not overtaxing citizens, I believe these governments would have been able to do the exact same thing. But I mean, have you thought all of this through? Because if you do get your way, and you have promised to bring this bill back next year, uh, if you do end up getting your way, you've got a Democrat governor on the ninth floor right now. She would be then uh, taking over, stocking the, judici the, the judges in these three new counties in the court system. She would be making all of those picks. Have you really thought about all that? Because right now, I mean, it's a conservative ju uh, uh, judiciary in Maricopa County. I mean, Republicans have been picking them for years, but you would have a governor who then all of a sudden be picking all these judges for all these new counties that you've created. I think saying that we have a conservative judiciary uh, may not be the most accurate statement you've ever made. Mm -hmm. um, but I will say that, look, we have to understand this is the government that the people of Arizona have given us. Um, and I don't believe that waiting until we have a new Republican governor in, you know, four years is the right move. We mm -hmm. have to get ahead of this problem today because it is unsustainable and getting worse with every passing year yeah. so that we can address this problem. So you're OK, then, if you got your way and you have a Republican governor would stock these three new counties with 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 judges in the judicial system. You know, I believe that the uh, these new counties would have representatives elected by the people who would do their job mm -hmm. and advocate for the people of those counties, working with whoever the governor is when this bill finally gets okay, it, it, Let's move on. You've also emerged um, as a kind of a leading conservative voice. You're the leader of the, of the, of the Arizona Freedom Caucus. Uh, we don't exactly know who is all a member there, but could you tell us a little bit about what this caucus is and what's kind of the price of admission? Who is allowed to be in the Freedom Caucus? 
Well, the Freedom Caucus stands to be the voice of the people of this state. And that's exactly what we've seen. Uh, you know, if you go to statefreedomcaucus.org, it is a wonderful organization that supports conservatives in state legislatures all across the country. Currently, there are over 10 uh, state freedom caucuses uh, on track to be 21 by the end of the year. Um, this is, you know, really building an institution within state capitals that support the will of the people uh, and do the hard work that it requires to not only, uh, you know, usher the types of government services that are critical and constitutional, but also protect the liberties and freedoms of the people that we represent. But the Freedom Caucus started off the, 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 the legislative session. It started off by threatening to sue the governor um, over the, her use of executive orders and to stop her agenda. In fact, I think I've got a soundbite here that we want to play. If we could bring that up right now and have you explain a little bit more on that on the other side of that. On behalf of the people of our state, the Republican legislator, legislature and the Arizona Freedom Caucus will oppose Katie Hobbs' woke agenda. You can bet your ass that will happen. How do you think that helps with the, you know, the Republican relationship with this governor? When you're saying we're going to stop and, and stop her, quote, woke agenda. Well, look, the people of Arizona don't want a woke agenda. Um, that is clear by the fact that they gave us a Republican legislature. Um, and so it's a I, slim majority. It is a slim by majority, but vote. it's been a slim majority for the last two years. But as the well. governor also won, too. And so she's got I mean, it's, she didn't win by a lot. It's not like she won by with a large mandate, but she did win. Well, the reality is that the Arizona Freedom Caucus stands to be the voice of the people. We will continue to fight for their best interests. Uh, and that is doing things like addressing the fentanyl crisis, uh, passing a food tax repeal, a rental tax repeal, uh, classroom first funding for education. Um, we are fighting for the things that the people of Arizona actually want. And look, we aren't going to play the same political games that Katie Hobbs is playing. We don't believe that she should be allowed to rule by executive fiat. That's not how our form of government is set up. Mm -hmm. And so we are going to do the, wor the work of the people. Have you filed those lawsuits? Uh, we have not yet, but we are talking with uh, attorneys and plaintiffs right now. And uh, as soon as we're ready to file, you'll be the first to know. And still ahead, more of my interview with Senator Jay Kaufman, including